everyone, this is Xenia. I'm back. I haven't done it in a while, so I I cannot promise that this will be good, <laughs> but I will try. So yeah, I haven't been on booktube for six months. I haven't filmed in six months and it feels like forever. <laughs> this is weird. So yes, recently I've read two books that I found to be quite similar in a way uh, and I wanted to talk about them together. This is Normal People by Sally Rooney and If Nobody Speaks of Remarkable Things by John McGregor. So why I want to talk about them in one video. First of all, they are quite similar in that they don't really have a plot. They have a very basic plot, very plotless plot, so to say. And another thing is that both books don't have punctuation, which I really hate in books. And also the writing style is a bit... In, in times it is very simplistic and um, at other times it's very unconventional. So both books have this in common. And the last thing is that Normal People is a book that is praised everywhere by everyone and it's beloved and blah 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 and I hated it completely. I I'm not sure I'll be able to express in words how much I hated it, but I did. And If Nobody Speaks of Remarkable Things is a book that not many people have heard of and even less people have read, uh, but I loved it so, so, so much. And again, hopefully I'll be able to express it in words. Uh, so I kind of want to compare it and put them in the same video because hopefully some people will click on the video because of Sally Rooney and we'll hear about John McGregor's novel. <laughs> so this is a sneaky plan. So I want to start with normal people because I have lots of feelings and I really want to rant about this book. Um, it was published last year and it is set in Ireland and the book is said to be a love story, but generally speaking, I wouldn't call it a love story. I think it's more like a story about relationships and I really appreciate it because I don't think there are enough stories that talk about what happens after the love story, what happens after when the relationship starts. So this was very good and I was hopeful. <laughs> and the good thing about the characters is that they are very flawed, which is, you know, normal people. People are usually flawed in real life as well, but these two they try to learn and they try to grow throughout the story, but they don't. They, in the end, they are pretty much the same as they were in the beginning. And there are things about the characters that I feel like should be explored in more depth that are just mentioned and then kind of forgotten. Like uh, the main character has a childhood trauma and she has an abusive family and she goes completely downhill because of that and it's it's never really explored in depth there are snippets of it and there is never a reason for this family to abuse this character they're just bad guys it's not explored why they are like that how it influences her to me it feels like it's just there on the page just to be shocking to be controversial it's just like shoved in your face. Look, my character is very, very traumatized. She's been abused. Now she's doing this, she's doing that. It's never, it's so, oh, ah, I don't know how to explain it. But it makes me very angry that it's so shallow. I mean, if you're writing a book about a character who's being abused, at least give that character some credit, give that some depth. Don't just mention it because it's cool or I don't want to say cool, but unfortunately people love reading and watching shows about horrible stuff. And another character has uh, depression because someone he knows commits suicide, which is huge, but also not explored at all. Basically it ends and starts there. I think there are a few scenes, two or three scenes when he goes to a therapist. And this is it. This is the exploration of depression and suicide and guilt. Great. And don't even get me started on the secondary characters because they were just caricatures 
So whenever the characters talk, it's either a few pages of random chit chat about nothing, or it's just a line of they discussed a war in Syria. And there is no discussion. You don't know what they think. You don't know their insights. There's nothing. It's just they discussed this. See? See, my characters are smart. They discussed war in Syria. Great. And yeah, that really annoyed me. And another thing that really annoyed me is the plot. I usually love plotless novels, the ones that don't focus on plot, but focus on characters and on feelings rather than events. But in this novel, <laughs> it was like the first half of the book was, if I were to tell anyone about this, about the plot, it would sound like a cliche Hollywood movie. And then, second half of the novel it switches to being really really horrific like there are scenes that describe horrible events happening to the characters i don't know maybe someone likes that it's so surprising and that you know you didn't expect it but the book did this wow but it didn't work for me obviously it worked for many other people out there so who knows and the last thing for me was the writing. Perhaps someone could see something betw between the pages. I didn't. To me, it was just very, very bland. There were so many times when something was told instead of shown. Like, he felt sad, she was sick, blah, blah, blah. And to me, it's not simplistic, it's just lazy. But again, so yeah, the worst thing about the book to me was that it left me feeling like I didn't understand something, I didn't get it, which uh, really hated feeling that way. Uh, thank goodness I have two people in my life who also read the book and also hated it and it kind of left me a little bit relaxed after I finished Normal People or as I'd like to call it Pretentious People. Um, after I finished this book I picked up another one if nobody speaks of remarkable things and it was like a, it cleansed my soul because <laughs> after Salarunia was left a little bit like I needed some nice prose I needed some beautiful writing and yes this book was it so yeah it also didn't have any quotation marks and it also had this um, weird writing style where sometimes you get like, he said blah blah blah, she said blah blah blah, he said blah blah blah, she said blah blah blah. Which can be very annoying, and I thought I would find it annoying because it's similar in uh, normal people. But I don't know, for some reason in this novel it really worked for me, and I didn't care about quotation marks. I cannot really explain why. <laughs> so yeah, this book was published in 2002. It was the first novel of John McGregor, and... Um, it's set in a very small English town, it doesn't have a name, it's just some random English town. And we have two timelines in this novel. One is one day in this town when nothing really happens, it's not eventful at all, until one big thing happens in the very end. And it's in the very beginning it's said that it's something tragic, something horrible that happens, and you don't find out until the very end. And the next timeline is we follow one girl that it's three years later and we follow this girl who used to live on that street and something also quite big that is happening in her life and yeah of course the two timelines are connected and you kind of get snippets of why it's connected and then in the end it comes full circle and it's very beautiful very touching and very very satisfying at least it was to me and these characters they don't really have character arcs um actually characters in normal people don't have character arcs as well but in normal people i hated it and here the fact that they don't have character arcs didn't matter to me because they all have they were all very real and very human and we get so many insights into their heads. And I feel like different readers can find different things they can relate to because there's just so much, it's so many insights and so many beautiful observations about the world that I just, I loved it. 
and I've marked the book so many times, I underlined so many things. Um, I don't have it now because I gave it to my husband to read. Hopefully he will love it as much as I have. Like I said about the plot and similar to normal people, there is not much of a plot. In the timeline about this one day, it's more of observations than actual events. Uh, not many things are happening apart from this one big tragic thing in the end. This other timeline about a girl three years from that other timeline, well, I'm explaining it really nicely. Um, so yeah, what is happening with this other girl, her story, it kept me more engaged because there is a little bit more of a plot and I really liked how things were moving there. So if you want to read, I highly, highly recommend this book. And if you are interested, I just want to kind of, I want you to be aware that there, first of all, there isn't much plot happening. <laughs> um, just be aware of that. And another thing is that there's a lot of build up to this big tragic event. It is not big in terms of like Hollywood blockbuster big. It's, but it's very big in terms of real life and real people and I wasn't disappointed but I've read reviews that said that after all the build-up they were disappointed in the end so just be aware of that so yeah this book to me was the definition of the word poignant beautiful writing and I enjoyed it so so much and honestly if even one person picks up this book instead of normal people <laughs> I feel like my mission is accomplished, so do that. I cannot promise that I will be back, and especially after December, I for sure will be gone. <laughs> will be too busy with this thing. But I have two months till December. So yes, hopefully I will keep making videos. I cannot promise anything, but yeah, it's, it feels good to talk about books again, to do all this. So hopefully we'll see each other again. Uh, and let me know what you think in the comments. As always, I love to chat. And yes, hopefully see you soon. Bye.